people don't realize why John is so different from Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are very similar, partly because they used each other's material. <coughs> Matthew and Luke clearly used Mark, each adding their own bits to it. When a famous person dies, his memory goes through three stages. The first stage is people recall what he did. That comes out in the obituary notice, what he achieved. Then in a second phase, people are more interested in what he said. And you get books on his letters and his speeches. In the third stage, people want to know what he was in himself, his character. And you then get a spate of biographies concentrating on the character and the inside story. Same thing has happened to Jesus. Mark wrote what he did. Matthew and Luke concentrated on what he said. But John concentrates on what he was. And if Matthew, Mark, and Luke give the outside story of Jesus' life, he gives the inside story. Whereas Matthew, Mark, and Luke report his public speeches, like the Sermon on the Mount, John records many intimate conversations on a one-to-one -one basis with the woman at the well of Samaria. And you get an insight into who Jesus was. Whereas Matthew, Mark, and Luke could be about the work of Jesus, this is about the person of Jesus, what he was in himself. And it is deliberately written to prove that he was the Son of God. And John's Gospel proves that in three ways. One, by bringing seven witnesses, all of whom said he was the Son of God. Two, by bringing seven miracles, all of them much greater miracles than the synoptic Gospels, the other three record. Outstanding, godlike miracles. And thirdly, by calling seven statements of Jesus, which the other three Gospels had forgotten about. All beginning, I am, which is the name of God. I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. I am the true vine. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am, I am, I am. And that's all in John's Gospel. So it's a very necessary Gospel to supplement the other two. And it was written in a place called Ephesus, where there was already heresy about who Jesus was. A belief very like the Jehovah's Witnesses believe today, that Jesus was not God <coughs> and not man. He wasn't fully both. He was somewhere in between. And that's a very popular heresy. So John's Gospel was written to counteract that heresy and to persuade Christians to go on believing that Jesus was the Son of God. And so those are two of the commentaries that are being prepared for this new series on the whole New Testament. Frightening, isn't it? <laughs>